Today's Smart Things News update covers the latest hub firmware rollout, matter expansion, platform features, and third-party integrations you need to know in January 2026. Let's get started. So what's rolling out? Samsung has started rolling out SmartThings Hub Firmware version 0.59.9. This phased update runs from January 12th through the 16th, 2026, and your hub will briefly go offline during the install. So what's in this recent update? Key changes include an upgrade to Matter 1.5 SDK support, this brings SmartThings hubs up to the latest Matter standard, expanding what devices you'll be able to connect in the future. The update also includes Matter camera support, including live streaming, snapshots, clips, zone management, and talkback. There are also performance and driver platform improvements, including memory optimizations that allow more drivers and devices to run efficiently. And the update includes minor ZigBee thread merge fixes and depreciated API cleanups. So which hubs does this update apply? The current firmware update applies exclusively to the SmartThings Hub 2015, also known as the SmartThings V2 Hub. If you're using a SmartThings 2018 Hub, also known as the SmartThings V3 Hub, the AOTech Hub, the AOTech Hub 2, or the SmartThings Station or other newer hubs, those hubs are already running firmware that includes many of these same platform level improvements, including matter support and ongoing edge driver optimizations. Those newer hubs were updated from December 8th through the 12th of 2025, and the updates were delivered under different version numbers. In short, this current update brings the older V2 hub closer to feature parity and stability with modern SmartThings hubs. Why does this update matter? For SmartThings users, this firmware is a major improvement. It modernizes the hubs with Matter 1.5 readiness, preparing them for Matter camera support. As for the SmartThings V2 hub, it dramatically improves edge driver memory handling, extending the usable life of this older hardware. Edge driver memory optimizations explained. One of the biggest changes in this update is a major reduction in edge driver memory usage. SmartThings has effectively cut the memory required by running drivers in half. In practical terms, this means that the SmartThings V2 hub can now support roughly double the number of edge drivers and connected devices compared to before. This, of course, depends on the specific drivers and device types in use. These improvements apply automatically to all existing edge drivers and are fully backwards compatible, meaning no user action is required and no drivers will break. What changed under the hood? SmartThings introduced a new lazy subdriver loading method that allows subdrivers to remain unloaded until they are actually needed, significantly reducing idle memory use. Common shared libraries were split so that only functions actively used by a driver are loaded into memory instead of the entire file. The device event state cache was removed from Lua, so device state is now loaded from the hub only when requested and cached only for values that are actually queried. Additional structure optimizations further reduce the overall memory footprint without affecting existing automations or device behavior. Matter 1.5 and Matter Camera Readiness. As mentioned, this Matter update enables support for next generation Matter device categories, including Matter cameras with live streaming, snapshots, recorded clips, motion zones, and two-way talk. Just keep in mind that feature availability depends on camera manufacturers enabling Matter camera support on their end. While device availability still depends on vendor support, the hub itself is now technically ready. Matter compatible cameras. There is a growing number of smart camera makers planning Matter support that will work with smart things. Samsung has publicly stated that they are working with partners like Eve, Akara, and Alticam. Initial products are expected to launch around March 2026. Several camera makers show notable developments at CES 2026 in Las Vegas that tie into Matter support and SmartThings readiness. Akara continues to push forward with actual Matter certified camera products, and SmartThings is already preparing to integrate these through Matter 1.5 once they hit the market. 
Reolink unveiled an expanded lineup of advanced cameras at CES, including new triple lens models and AI-driven security products, though these announcements did not explicitly state matter certification yet. Reolink's focus seems to be on hardware and AI performance rather than interoperability standards right now. SwitchBot was highlighted in CES Matter coverage for new Matter supporting products overall, but there wasn't a confirmed Matter native camera launch from them at this year's show. So any SwitchBot Matter camera availability still appears to be on the roadmap rather than immediately shipping. Meanwhile, brands like Amcrest have not publicly announced Matter certified cameras yet, so they are likely to remain on traditional integration paths for now. Once these manufacturers officially certify and launch Matter cameras, they should work natively in SmartThings with full Matter camera support, but timing will vary by brand and product. So what's the significance of these updates? Matter 1.5 support on the hub side means a wider range of devices, especially cameras and next generation sensors, can finally behave as native SmartThings devices without bridging. That's huge for both security and general automation setups. This is SmartThings' move to stay competitive with Apple HomeKit and Google Home, both pushing deeper matter support. It finally unlocks more camera partners and unified device management. How to check your hub for a firmware version. To confirm whether your SmartThings V2 hub has received the update, open the SmartThings app, go to the menu, select Devices, Choose your SmartThings hub and tap the three-dot menu and open information. If the update has been applied, you will see firmware version 0.59.9 listed. This firmware update quietly fixes one of the biggest long-term limitations of the SmartThings V2 hub, memory constraints. So for users running large Zigbee or Z-Wave networks or many edge drivers, this update delivers real stability and capacity improvements while extending the life of this older hardware. If this breakdown was helpful, consider hitting the like and subscribe for ongoing SmartThings updates. And let me know in the comments how many devices and edge drivers you are currently running. We'll see you in the next video.